Well, the attorney for the fired University of Cincinnati officer now charged with murder says his client feared for his life and that Ray Tensing is in shock and very depressed as he pleaded not guilty today in the shooting death of motorist Samuel DuBose during that traffic stop over a missing front license plate on July 19th. The incident caught on the former officer's body cam. Watch this. Be straight up with me. Are you suspended? No, I'm not suspended. Why don't you have your license on you? I don't, I'm just going to go I'm going to go in the house. Okay. Where do you say that? Down here? Right around the room. Okay. Well, until I can figure out if you have a license, license or not, go ahead and take your seatbelt off. Go ahead and take your seatbelt off. Stop! Stop! Joining me now, David Bruno, criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor. Tough video to watch, David. Absolutely, Gretchen. Um, the video's evidential, it's persuasive, and it's objective. And, and the objective nature of the video is important. And these cameras are changing the face of investigations, especially in light of the reports that are coming out that this police officer filed a report and also made many statements that he was dragged by the vehicle, which is inconsistent with this objective video that has been released. I mean, I think it's absolutely shocking for people to watch that he asked the gentleman to, to take off his seatbelt and almost instantaneously starts firing at him. Sure. Now, this video does show that this officer had to react quickly, and it, and it was a split second where he fired the shots. Um, this will play out in a courtroom. Um, he has now been charged with murder, and he has every right, just like every other defendant across the land, that this case be presented to a jury be proven beyond a reasonable doubt. Right, okay, so his lawyer today said, look, we're pleading not guilty because this was self-defense. The DA in Hamilton County in Cincinnati said, no way. He said, this was intentional, a purposeful killing. Here is Joe Dieters on why he waited to release this next piece of body cam video you're about to see. Here's Joe. We wanted him to keep talking, so we didn't want him to couch his testimony around what he saw on te television. And, uh, he was not dragged. I mean, he intentionally shot this man in the head and anyone who has any common sense know the, for, the foreseeable result of shooting someone in the head is to kill them. That's why he's facing a murder charge. All right, now, this is the second piece of body cam video. This is from another officer who comes on to the scene, David. And the, the first officer now charged with murder has said that he fell back because the guy who's dead now in the car, that he started to race towards him in some fashion. That has been proven incorrect by this video. Yeah, this video and the prior video both show that obviously this person, this police officer wasn't dragged. What's also going to be relevant here is the audio as to what the police officers are saying. And what's been reported is he's continuing to say, I was dragged, I was dragged, I was dragged, which ultimately is not consistent with objective evidence. What's also going to be interesting about this case is his credibility is going to be on trial here, especially if it's going to be a self-defense case. A jury is going to have to determine whether or not he feared for his safety, his life. And when you have inconsistencies, when you have objective evidence that shows that somebody was lying in a police report or statements, that's going to go to his credibility, which is going to be a relevant factor of trial. Okay. And we should just mention that he was actually back on, he did fall back, but the prosecutor is alleging that he fell back after recoiling, after shooting the gun, not that he was dragged by the other man. Uh, David Bruno, uh, we'll have to see how this plays out. Very tragic time for Cincinnati right now. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.